Hi everyone, I'm WFAA Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus in Dallas, Texas with a quick update on the tropics. I, I wanted this to be somewhat comprehensive because we're now approaching the peak of the season, which of course is September 10th, but we're certainly uh, in the time of the year that that August 20th through the middle part of October when two thirds of all tropical storm activity, tropical development takes place. So let me show you what's happening right now. We have three areas that we're watching one out here in the uh, in the Atlantic, not far from the Cape Verde Islands. Another one just to the east, that's Bermuda. It's this system is just to the it's developing system. It's just to the east of Bermuda, pretty good distance. And then of course, this one that I talked about yesterday that's down here uh, just to the north of uh, South America, just north of Caracas, Venezuela. We'll watch that. That's the one that we're concerned about right now for the United States. So as we focus in on uh, that disturbance hasn't been named. If, if we don't have any other name storms between now and the time this one uh, will be named, it'll be Ida. So right now this one potentially could be Ida. Uh, the models are really all over the place with this, but the European model yesterday was taking this system right into the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. That's not the case anymore. It's not. It's now taking it over into the central Louisiana coast. So that would be just to the west of New Orleans, but right now it is not taking it into Texas. That's the European model. Historically, the European model is the best one, the most accurate one out of the bunch, but it's not always right either. The American model, which more often than not is not very good, unfortunately. Yesterday, the American model was uh, making landfall, moving down into Central America. Today, it's moving into the lower or middle Texas coast. So and then moving into the Austin area, then falling apart across West Texas. So all of the models have shifted from here to here. The Canadian model has a similar trajectory as the uh, as the American model. So it's pretty close to the American, but that's the latest. Again, we're looking at seven, eight, nine days away. But right now, I just want you to know is both of these, uh, whatever the track is uh, right now, and hopefully it doesn't move into the Gulf of Mexico, but if it does move into the Gulf, look at the Southern Caribbean here. That's Northern Caribbean water temperatures. This is jet fuel for these things to fire up 85 and a half degrees. Water temps up here in the Gulf of Mexico are in the middle to upper 80s. So once again, we have some high octane fuel there for these systems as they continue to uh, to churn across the tropical Atlantic basin. We'll watch this right now. That's the latest. No other named storms. So good news right there. But once again, we're at the beginning of the busiest time of the year. We'll keep you updated right here in the WFAA Weather Center.